US and Europe are going to put pressure on Zelensky to start negotiations. Western countries are already tired of supporting the Kyiv regime and are now trying to convince Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to begin negotiations on a peaceful settlement. Europe One reports this, citing informed sources. According to the sources, Ukraine is now at risk of much worse developments than what we currently see. Therefore, it is better for Kyiv to start peace negotiations with Russia in order to avoid further deterioration of its position. The Western armies seem to have come to their senses. Ukraine will have to negotiate an end to the war, risking a worst-case scenario in which the Russians open another front. Europe One notes, now the United States and Europe are going to put pressure on Zelensky to start negotiations. But much depends now on whether it will be possible to convince Zelensky, who in himself is a figure to whom the West should listen, at least for propaganda purposes. In any case, the position of Western countries is not yet very clear. The fact that Western leaders publicly support Kyiv does not mean that they are truly committed to further escalation of the conflict. But on the other hand, it would be enough to suspend military and financial assistance, which would make it possible to more effectively push through one's position and convince Zelensky to start negotiations. Recall there will be a peace conference for Ukraine in Switzerland. To date, 50 countries out of 160 invited delegations have confirmed they will attend the Ukraine peace conference due to be held in central Switzerland in mid-June according to Swiss public radio RTS. The meeting will take place from June the 15th and 16th at the five-star Bergenstock Hotel above Lake Lausanne in central Switzerland. We are preparing intensely at the diplomatic level to convince those who have not yet made announcements, Nicholas Bido, the head of communications at the Swiss Foreign Ministry, told RTS. Radio Svoboda shows higher quality satellite images of Belbek airfield. The satellite images were taken over the airfield in Crimea on May 16th. There was a fire in the parking lots of Su-27, Su-30 and MiG-31 aircraft. There may be more than three affected planes, as the satellite image does not show all the damage from the cluster warhead. The pictures also show the burnt-out warehouse of ammunition. Satellite images of the consequences of an Atakms cluster missile strike on the Belbek airfield. Traces of fire can be seen at the parking places of two MiG-31s and the ammunition warehouse. The news outlet KRYM Realii, which is part of US-funded network Radio Free Liberty, said the attack was carried out in two waves, and after the second, several explosions similar to detonation were heard. KRYM Realii said that its data showed that at the airfield were based 12 Sukhoi Su-27 aircraft, 12 Sukhoi Su-27SM aircraft, and three Sukhoi Su-27UB combat training aircraft, as well as five two-seat Sukhoi Su-30M2, a total of 32 jets. The post did not outline whether the aircraft were damaged and that, it is unclear whether the fire was caused by a missile strike. The exact number of missiles involved is unclear, but Russian military blogger Rybar said the attack involved 16 Atakms missiles, which last month the US said it had given Kiev. Unfortunately, one or two missiles could not be shot down and the consequences of this have been revealed to the whole world, thanks to the publication of a video from a CCTV camera, the Post said. How and why this is still possible in the third year of the war has long been a rhetorical question. The Russian Defense Ministry said that its air defenses had thwarted the attack by downing 10 long-range missiles. Local residents told the ASTRA Telegram channel that there were about 20 missiles fired.